Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali8. Today we're doing another map guide video for you guys and today we're going to be focusing on Tremor. Another multiplayer map that I honestly really like. Um, I think it's got a nice design to it. And having just seen this for a second, in one of the very first trailers, maybe the multiplayer trailer, um, you actually see somebody running and jumping over what I believe to be, I think, this part of the... Um, there you go. So there's a new feature where you, instead of climbing over very slowly, it sort of jumps over. And I think this was the part of the map in which I showed it in a trailer. But anyway, going off on a side note there, not not anything to uh, relate to this video too much. But uh, if you guys want to see all my other map guide videos, there'll be a link to the playlist in the description. You can see the map on screen here. I would say it's probably like a small to medium sized map out of the selection we've got within multiplayer. I'm going to start where we spawned off in this sort of edge of the map. Now, this is a popular spawn point around here, uh, in this sort of back side area, so in the bottom left of the map. And you can get up here, and it's a nice spot for watching over into this building. You can get a slight overview down there, and more importantly, you can get a nice overview over there. Um, I honestly wouldn't, I, I don't like people sort of staying in the back parts of these map, and there, the tremor, that is the dynamic part of the map. The map will physically shake every now and then. Um, so you've got to be wary of that if you're in the middle of a gunfight. Um, I, as I said, I wouldn't recommend going up there. I don't really like it when people um, go up and sort of sit in back areas of the map. I don't think it works very well. It's not really needed. Um, so this area of the map you may spawn in. You may find a bit of action in there. Just be aware there's a top floor and a bottom floor. Next up, over in this direction, you can come up here. And you have one of the highest points on the map. Which allows you access over there, allows you access over there, and anyone that's running over here. So it's actually a very good part of the map. You can actually throw yourself on top of here as well and get a nice line of sight there. Because um, I think B in Domination is over there as well, so it's a good line of sight over there. Good line of sight for anyone who's coming down here. If you do go over here and get a few kills, I would say get back up as soon as you possibly can. Because, as you said, you could have people spawning behind you. You can have some people spawning at B, and you're very, very open. So not the best spot in the world to find yourself in. Uh, this does, as I say, have a few layers to it. This is the top part. You can get up on here if you want extra height for any reason. Not really necessary, uh, but just in case you do. And you can get up here through the back way. This can be accessible. So if you just jump up, keep your uh, thumb or finger on the uh, jump button, you'll climb upstairs. And you'll find yourself in the second room here. You can then jump over here and continue into sort of like the other area of the map, which is the uh, top area here which links over to the other side. I believe there's a spawn area near here as well. So that's something worth noting. But we've gone a bit far. I want to go back a little bit. So this building here can be accessed through the way I've just showed you. Or you can come upstairs from the bottom here, which then links back into this building. Now, to be honest, the biggest tip I can give you guys is just knowing everything about the map. Knowing all the routes, knowing where enemies will be coming from. And that's what I want to make sure you guys know is just all of these little sort of different routes and different uh, positions so you guys know exactly where enemies can be coming from. So if you continue, you can then get into the next area from this doorway or from this doorway. Um, and then there's also stairs going up here. And then there is also stairs going up here. So you can get upstairs by me in two different ways. Now, one thing to note is that if you spawn on this side of the map over there, if you sprint straight to here, you'll often see someone up there that has spawned on the other side of the map, so that's a good point to watch and just to be take note of, basically. Another part of the map here, which I wouldn't really rec recommend spending any time in, it's sort of just like a secluded part of the map, nothing's really going to happen here, just run through it, leave it alone, not too much of an issue. Here, I believe, uh, you've got the B flag in Domination, so you've got a nice bit of cover to check anyone maybe coming out from under there, across there, or... Uh, you've got people coming from the line of sight over there, and then you've also got to watch the window up there. So this is the, basically the main building of the map, this one right here. You've got access from outside. You've got this very nicely positioned part here, and it's very good for taking cover. If you know someone's coming from over there, you can sort of sit behind it. Or if you know someone's coming from over there, you can sit behind this part. So it's a, definitely a good piece of cover. Up here, unfortunately, you can't look out there. That would be an amazing line of sight, but fortunately you can't do that. So uh, it's good in a way because it means if you are running through here, you've got a little bit more cover. I mean, if you could see everything that was happening in here from that window, there, there, and here, it'd be a bit much. So this is one of the outside ways of getting in. You do have to climb up here. So if you know there's someone in there 
and you go to climb up, that person could always run out and kill you in the climbing animation. So just be careful when you're going in that uh, you're not climbing as someone sprints at you. So as I said, you've got a window here, which you can then look out to uh, B Domination or anybody that may be out there. So that's a nice line of sight. You've also got a window here, which is good for catching anyone off guard that's sort of running along this part of the map just here. And then another big window looking out onto B. This stairway can often get very, very um, busy. It's good often to sort of hop up here and then look down rather than just be standing here because the, per the likelihood is this person is going to come around the corner, look straight up there and not look up there. So that's a good spot to be in as well. Uh, since we're in this area, you can also come underneath the map. Uh, so just be aware there's another link sort of to get around here, get inside. You don't have to go up through that stairway there. You can come underneath. This part of the map here, there is a little bit of, sort of bushes in the way, so if you're on top of there or if you're over there, just be aware that there could be bodies sort of like hiding in here. So just be aware of that. So going back inside again, I think we've almost covered pretty much the whole section of the map. Now this set, uh, center bit here is very open and it is very risky. Looking back at my gameplays, I pretty, pretty much spend no time in this open area. I'm always, the only time I'll come here is if I know someone's in the center, I'll come from either this angle or this angle and then take them out and then sort of just go back to, to sticking it towards the edges of the map because I don't want to spend any time in the center here. Another ladder allowing you to get up to the top part here and if you climb up here, you can get up to the top here this way. So if you know there's someone in this area, you can jump up here and then sort of surprise them and come from the top down, which is quite awesome as well. Final part of the map I'm going to show you is this little area here and often there's a lot of stuff going on sort of around here you can have people in this building people running around here just be aware that like there's lots of different routes so if you see someone here you get in the middle of a gunfight and you're a bit weak you can come behind here take cover sort of you know sit down for a little bit so there's lots of nice pieces of cover in here which allows you and there's a tremor again allows you to um recover your health and basically you know make sure you're not in a bad situation there is this back area of the map. Again, I don't really like these back areas of the map because you've just got all this stuff that isn't really happening. Uh, you can come around here and uh, sort of stick to the edges. You can have a look sort of over here. But, you know, I, I like to sort of be sort of towards the action. So that would be my best tip is not to stay near the sort of right corners of the map um, and sort of try and get involved with everything that's going on. Like in this final room, like what is it doing here? There's like, there's not much point for it. Don't stay here. Uh, if you see anyone in here, just try and kill them and then make sure that, you know, nothing, you get away from there because then nobody, the enemy doesn't have a reason to be there also. So hopefully you guys have found that quite useful. Unfortunately, there isn't any sort of dynamic part of the map in terms of like making anything fall over or getting anything cool. The map literally tremors. Um, but I like the map. I think it's got a good layout, lots of place, places to take cover, etc. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure you're checking out my playlist for all the other maps as well. I'll be covering all the other maps, any DLC maps that come out as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.